You're tuned in. You're tuned in to Stardom 100 Radio. Stardom 100 Radio. What time is it? With your host, Tanisha Davis. We're the show that's keeping it all the way 100 with you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the heavenly orchestrated, never duplicated lyrical symphony known as the Eternal One Eternity, aka Mr. Everlasting, the lyrical assassin. And you are tuned into Stardom 100 Radio. Let's go. Yo, what's poppin'? It's the Young Lion, Sammy, and right now you're tuned in to Stardom 100 Radio. Keep it locked. What's up, you all? Thanks for tuning in to another dope episode here on Stardom 100 Radio with your host, none other than the lovely Tanisha Davis. And I hope you all have been having a wonderful Wednesday. You know, today is August 12th. And um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good, you know. So we have a really dope topic for you all today. Ooh, really nice, really nice. So before we get into our topic, we're going to take you a little little bit back 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 to mint condition nothing left to say and then we'll be back with our topic okay At least in the beginning Who would have thought There'd ever be an ending We had it all But it's like We've run into a wall Now we try to talk But just end up fighting Try making up But there's just no denying Just ain't the same no more What are we putting ourselves To all this for? Talk and hear me, but you can't communicate Cause you're not listening, no, these are two different things Now I see what it means to have been blinded by the one you love so deeply Cause the very things that make me love you Are the things pushing me your way So given, spirit so free, you drew me in and I fell so deep, I could not sing my life without you in it, girl you gave me a lot of attention, somehow that feeling turned into crazy possessive, it was always there, but I didn't look deeper, if I would I'd have seen the limits, you talk and hear me, but you can't communicate Cause you're not listening No, these are two different things Now I see what it means to have been Blinded by the one you love so deeply I had my pride, girl And you had your pain So deep inside you Wanted to have your say Irritated, frustrated, and hurt Baby, this is so confusing Girl, I thought this was the real thing for sure there is things that made me
there's nothing left to say. Mint condition. Don't you love old school music? I mean, I grew up in the 90s, so I love old school music from the 90s the 80s and even the 70s you know so we in for a dope topic today and our topic today is everything that glitters ain't gold baby so of course we know that it seems like love real love these days seems to be hard to come about Um, And when we listen to the music that we grew up on, you know, and and what we witnessed with our parents and, you know, we're like, man, you know, that's when the those were the days when there was real love. And now today in 2020, it's like, why is it so hard to find someone that's genuine That doesn't want to play games. That just wants to love just like you. So baby, everything that glitter ain't gold. So it seems like we're running into people who are more uh, fascinated by the glitter. You know, stuff they see on uh, social media. Hashtag relationship goals. Hashtag marriage goals. They're looking at all these people. They're like, that's what I want. Oh, I want somebody that looks like that. I want somebody that acts like that. I want a relationship just like that. And when I get married, I want a marriage just like that. Act wrong. You need to find someone that loves you for you. You need to find someone that's supportive of you. You know, and I I truly believe, like, I'm always on social media. And I'm always seeing people sharing posts about, oh, I can't find a good woman. Oh, I can't find a good man. Uh, Do the women still cook today? Do the women still want flowers? Do the women still blah, blah, blah? You know, do the men still, you know? And honestly, there is someone out there that still does those things. There are still men who open doors. You know, there are still men who know how to work with their hands. There are still men who um can do so much. Like, they're real men. I'm not talking about these men sitting around the house waiting on you to take care of them. Waiting on your food stamps to post. Waiting on your Section 8 to post to pay the rent. I, I, no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the real men who are out there working hard every day to pay those bills. And, and, and the men who... Don't you don't even have to ask them for anything, they just do it because they know it has to be done. They know the light bill has to be paid, they know your cell phone has to be paid, they know you need gas money, they know you may want to go and do a little shopping, shopping. So they just give it just because they they know you know what she deserves to go out to dinner tonight. Let me take her out. And then there are women, guys, who check up on you all the time. They saying good morning. I hope your day is going good. I hope all these nice things. You know what I'm saying? You know, they checking up on you. They saying good night. They baking. They cooking. They they supportive. They they in business with you. They they bosses all by themselves. And you know what I found? Whether it's men or women, we all have people like this in our corner, but we ignore those people. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we ignore those people. We are not. Paying any attention to those people who are in our corner. We get all on Facebook and and Instagram and we posting all these little memes and quotes and and saying all this stuff. And knowing there's somebody that's reaching out to you every day that loves you, that adores you, that appreciates you, that wants to give you the world or wants to bring 
to to be the world to you. You understand what I'm saying? Like everybody has that one person. And so, like, I was talking to my dad a while back, and I was, like, asking him, I was, like, you know, I was, like, how do you know who's the one? Like, how do you know? And I think we all have asked that question, like, how do you know who's the one? You know what I'm saying? I think we all, some of us even be on our knees at night praying to God, and we be like, God, Who's the one? Like, is he the one? Is she the one? We all, you know what I'm saying? We sending up these prayers. We like, Lord, help us find the one. Like, guide me, lead me, you know, give me a sign. Like, let a text message pop up in my phone. Let let them call me. Let some drop out the sky and I'll just know this is the one. You know, so we're all asking that question (laughs) and we're like, how do we know who's the one? So I asked my dad, I'm like that. How do you know? How do you know it's the one? Like, how? I mean, you know, because so many people that are always reaching out to you that are always showing interest. But you you get to that point in life where you're like, man, look, I don't want to just be with just anybody. You know, I don't want to just be with just know anybody because I'm not just for anybody so my dad said it's often that person that you just do not pay any attention to like it's that person that's always right there that one person that person is just like always right there Anything you need, they got you. Anytime you going through something, they right there. Just just right there hanging off in the distance. And we and and we're looking like, mmm, such a good friend, right? <laughs> we're like, yeah, that's my friend, that's my bestie, that's my best friend, go best friend. You know what I'm saying? So we're sitting there thinking like that's just a good friend friend you know like that person is always there they got my back and we think they're just a good friend and we're steady chasing after the glitter we're we're steady chasing after the ones that we think are best for us you know for the men they're looking they're looking like i i gotta gotta have a girl that looks like this and she dressed like that and she do this and and she's shaped like this and and all that and her hair is down her back and it's her real hair and she her personality we got a whole big list and then for the men not the men i'm sorry and then for the women oh he gotta have a um abs and a you know a six eight pack he gotta be this tall and he gotta be this this that we got this whole list But I was listening to Pastor Michael Todd. And if you're ever on YouTube, check out Transformation Church. Um, Pastor Michael Todd, he taught a whole series about relationship goals. And one of those series, he talked about tearing up your list. Get rid of your list because your list is what's messing you up. Your list is what's messing you up because you're sitting up there with this list and you're like, I want them to be this and I want her to be that. And God is like, that is not the person I have for you. You know, because God knows who we need. God knows exactly who we need. And we're so caught up in our list that we're ignoring That one person that is right there in the distance that says, I love you. I admire you. I care about you. I appreciate you. Every time you talk to them, they're like, oh, I love that about you. Oh, that's an awesome idea. Oh, how can I support you? Oh, they're just in your corner. They're your biggest fan. But you don't look at them. So in 2020, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we got to get back to, to some of the old ways. Like, you got to get back to loving those who love you. Mm-hmm. Are you loving those who love you? 
Or are you chasing out the people that just fit your list? Hmm. And when you're running out the people on this list, honey, you're going to constantly be disappointed. You're constantly going to be disappointed. Your heart going to be broken. You're going to keep dating and dating. And it's going to keep being failure after failure. Because you're going to find out that everybody that you keep, you keep running after is just not for you. Because even if they look good, smell good, sound good, take very good pictures with the filters or whatever the heck they do, you're going to find out that they're just not for you. So you need somebody that loves you, that really loves you and that's very supportive of you. And stop searching for the glitter, baby, when you got gold right there. I'm talking about gold, sitting there, ready. You know what I'm saying? Any dreams you have, any ideas you have, they're supportive. They're ready. They're like, if you say, I plan to take over the moon tomorrow, they're like, I'm with you. How are we going to do it? Let's put this plan together so we can go and do this. Everybody got that one person. Just like my dad said, everyone has that one person person that's in your corner that's rocking with you and you can keep letting life pass you by you can keep letting time slip by you can keep getting older and older but at some point you're gonna have to wake up and say man he's really the best person for me He can really love me like none of these guys have loved me. Or she can really love me like none of these females have loved me. At some point, you're going to have to open your eyes and see who's really there for you. Are you going to constantly have disappointment? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's so many people. You have that one person. They're always there. They love you. They probably love your dirty drawers. You know what I'm saying? Our ladies, your dirty bras or whatever. (laughs) But they love you. They're really rocking with you. And you got to pay attention to that. You know? Stop putting everybody in the friend zone. Because you'll know. You'll know who's just a friend. You know? But you'll also know that person that is, you know, possibly the one. Possibly the one. So, baby, stop chasing the glitter and start paying attention to that goal. Because life is short. Y'all know that? Life is short. With all this foolishness going on in the world today, COVID-19, people dying, you know, and and, and like you never know when it's going to be your last day here. You never know. And I don't know about you all, but I really want to make sure that I live this life to the fullest. More importantly, making sure that I'm pleasing to God at all times. But I want to make sure that if there's someone that really loves me, that they know how I feel about them. So my um, encouragement to you all This evening, tonight, or morning, whenever you're listening to this episode, my encouragement for you is to stop. Stop playing games. Stop ignoring that one person who's making the effort. I'm talking about you know. Oh, you know. Trust me, you know. That guy that's good morning. I hope you have a beautiful day, queen. That that young lady, I hope you have a good morning, King. She like always just just showing love, doing the most random things. Pay attention to those people. Cause those may be your little one in the corner that you ain't paying no attention to. 
While you out there chasing after these heartbreakers. While you out there chasing after the dude that probably got uh, uh, so many girls in his inbox. He, it, it's fun for him. He ain't stunning you. Or uh, uh, the female, she got so many so many guys after her. She just want that money. She, You know what I'm saying? She on some something else. But you got that queen who's right there consistently by your side who admires you. And who really loves you? Y'all better pay attention to these people. Because it's because good love is hard to come about. You know that? In 2020, good love is hard to come across. You know? I was listening to the song. Mint Condition said, there's nothing left to say. Because the things that make me love you are pushing me away. Y'all gonna mess around and lose. That one person that's right there that's trying consistently to get your attention, trying to, to make hoping that you see, hoping that you notice that they really love you, but your actions and your attitude and your ways is pushing them away. And you'll sit around and be in your 50s looking back and you'll be like, man. I remember that one guy, man, he really liked me. He used to always message me. He used to always be there for me. Or, or man, I remember that one girl, man, that girl was crazy about me, but I was just too blind. I was too stupid. I was chasing behind females that wouldn't stun me. So y'all better pay attention because everything that glitters ain't gold. Okay. All right. So that's my piece of advice to you all today. This episode is brought to you by none other than Femi Magazine. Be sure to follow and subscribe to the website www.femi. That's F-E-M-I magazine dot com. Follow on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Everywhere for your stories on black culture. Um, also, be sure to follow me, your girl, your host, Tanisha Davis on Instagram at Tanisha D. Davis. Also, be sure to follow Start on 100 Radio on Instagram. We everywhere. Be sure to look us up. Catch up on our interviews and our topics and more. We love you. And hey, if you like what was said today, or maybe you want to add to what was said today, don't hesitate to comment. Be sure to follow us on streaming live on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes. We everywhere. So be sure to support the show. Follow us and keep up. We love you. Peace. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands, wash your hands, and use some hand sanitizer if you're not somewhere where you can wash your hands. All right, later.